Get down. Let's go ahead and get that music up, all right? Welcome. So, <clears throat> I've been really wanting to do this for a very long time. Um, I think I tried on my very first stream ever, like, two, like, Quite a while ago, nobody ever, you know, nobody watched. But I think I tried this then uh, on my old laptop, which went over like a fart in a spacesuit. In other words, not too well. Now, fast forward to I have a much better setup because I do. Um, I wanted to. This is a. Uh, I've never beaten this. So there's two of these. Um, there is. A, uh, you know, let's turn on a little bit of music on since I'm going to talk for a minute here. We'll put on something chill. There we are. That works. So. <clears throat> so anyhow. Um. I had a friend who had this game in, God, this came out when I was like 12. Jim, thank you so much for liking the stream. Um, so yeah, I had a friend who had this when I was like 12. Oh yeah, I need to address that too. I always forget Facebook. I'll start my story over here in a second. Oh, I'll speed it up here. I totally forget Facebook has a tendency to make my uh, streams say there's something when they're not. So I am just editing the game that I'm playing. That's all. We'll get rocking here in a second. Go. All right, I feel better. Feel much better. So, um, anyhow, um, a friend of mine had this uh, when it first came out. Um, and I've been a lifelong Trek fan. Uh, got my picture taken with Shatner once, because, woo! Anyway, um... So I'm a big Trek fan, and original Trek is my favorite by a long shot. Um, and so I was like, a point-and-click game with them voicing it? It's like New Adventures. And so I never got a chance to play this one. But there was a sequel that came out a few years later called uh, Judgment Rights, which I had the uh, I had that, and I beat that love that but i've never beaten the 25th anniversary so this is set up like the show it's got like six episodes and it's voiced by the original crew and uh yeah you make your choices based on how you think what you would do um and i love this shit so it's like it's a lot like um whatchamacallit oh god I can't believe I'm spacing on the name right now um the Monkey Island games Curse of Monkey Island um it's a lot like those in terms of point and click and real turn um yeah the uh second one had uh had a guest star that was really rad one of my favorite characters from the original series was brought in so that was badass, and maybe I'll get to that too, but there's like six episodes per game, and uh, there's space combat and everything like that. Um, I will try to get through one episode tonight. I don't want to try to do two. 
I mean, I could, I could push myself, but <clears throat> I don't think so. Anyhow, um, I'm excited to play this. I am really excited to play this. So, um, yeah. Let's fucking get to it, eh? Look at that, right as the uh, song is finishing up. Perfect. Chirp, 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 chirp. Here we go. Oh, it messed with it. Space, the final frontier. Let's see if we can mess with These that. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission, to explore strange new worlds to discover new life and new civilizations to boldly go where no man has gone before i didn't think it'd be that small I know the way to fix this. Demon World. Though the Enterprise's primary mission is peaceful exploration, the galaxy holds many surprises. To be prepared, we are conducting a mock battle with the USS Republic. Captain Patterson reports the Republic is in position and ready to begin, Captain. The Republic is arming weapons and raising shields. I suggest we do the same, Captain. <laughs> Raising shields. Arming weapons. Okay, so don't have this. Ah! I got smacked there. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. says better luck next time sir lowering shields and disarming weapons okay yes, it's coming in from starfleet on screen lieutenant jim the enterprise is ordered to travel to pollux 5. the natives report that alien life forms have been attacking the settlers near a mine at mount idol you are to report to the high prelate of the colony the settlers are members of the acolytes of the star set the description of the attackers vary but all say that the attackers resemble creatures from many Earth religions known as demons. Starfleet wants you to determine the nature of these creatures and resolve the situation without bringing harm to the colonists. Starfleet out. Okay. Let's try to fix this. Because I think I can. I just need, like, a minute or two. Um, I need to go to here. We're gonna go ahead and bring this.
There's something I'm missing here. Um, not sure what shit it is. Oh, that's it. That's it. Let's go here. Look at that! Huzzah! That's center of that. Sweet. Alright. Um, let's see. I have my keyboard and all that shit right here. So, combat movement. Da -da -da -da. Navigation. We're going to Pollux, which is number two. That should be this one. We have arrived at Pollux 5. Okay. Raising shields. Oh, that's not what we're doing. Captain. We are too far from the planet for a sensor probe, Captain. We're entering standard orbit as well. Entering we're doing. standard orbit. There it is. So, Pollux Five has recently emerged from an ice age, sir. It's spring at the moment, cool but tolerable. Sensors indicate previously documented flora and fauna. Nothing unusual. Captain's log. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Pollux five has. Oh. Message from High Prelate Robert Angevin, sir. There we go. Welcome, Enterprise. The High Prelate awaits you. Please beam down and meet with him. Well, well, well. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Um, what is the transport? Oh, that's right. It's in the crib. Spock, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the con. You have the con. Look at that. Early 90s, man. 91! 25th anniversary of Star Trek. This is so much I was better, 10. <laughs> we are honored at your presence and hope you will find peace here in our haven. Okay. Captain, the floor on this planet is very interesting. I wonder how useful it may be for medicinal purposes. Dr. McCoy. DeForest Kelly. The late great DeForest Kelly. Say lobby. 
Um. Captain, demons and supernatural creatures are almost by definition illogical. Yet yeah. it is evident these people believe what they have seen. Barring illness or mass hysteria, I agree that a real problem seems to exist. Doctor, you need to investigate the possibility of disease, mental or physical, among these people before we go chasing up the mountains. Prelate and Given, may we see those who have encountered the demons? They are already gathered in the chapel and will cooperate in any way with you, first or on my right. I don't know if the problem is real, the result of a new illness, or mass hysteria, but at the very least, there's an injured miner who needs my help. I'm Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. We have received word that alien life forms are creating problems at your mining facilities at Idle Mountain. Tell me more. Okay, so I got choices now. That's choice number one. Most high prelate and given, I am honored to meet you. I consider it my divine duty to assist you in any possible way with the spawn of the devil. That seems a bit much. Been seeing ghosts and boogeymen, eh? I find that a little hard to believe. <laughs> That's a dick thing. I'm Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Certainly, Captain Kirk. Not aliens per se. We have encountered what we believe are demons at Idle Mountain. Creatures surely emerging from the very gates of hell. Our god would not test us thus without reason. So we believe your might and insight are our god's method to help us discover what is going on. Aside from seeing demons, has any hard data been collected? Any evidence I could see? Demons, gates of hell, this is the 23rd century. <laughs> Aside from seeing demons, has any hard data been collected? A skeptic would consider everything merely anecdotal or unproven. My people will gladly tell you their own stories, so you need not hear it secondhand through me. What can you tell me about the mine itself? You're wasting the time of a starship capable of destroying this planet with campfire stories? Campfire stories! Out here in the middle of nowhere. Ooh! What can you tell me about the mine itself? We'll go with that one. The area is exceptionally stable tectonically, and easy for our machinery to work in, praise God. We've mined for hafnium and a variety of useful trace elements. The deeper we dig, however, the more anomalous the variety of minerals seems to be. Our Ignatiate brother Stephen has his own theories about why this might be. Either way, the anomalies inspired Brother Canbury to conduct studies inside the mine. Yesterday, he reported discovering a strange door. A gate to hell, surely. For the demons caused a cave-in immediately. Canbury was trapped, unconscious, and the demons prevent us from rescuing him. We can only hope he is still alive. Thank you for your courtesy, Kirk. May you receive the guidance and protection of our God as you complete this divine mission. I'm actually playing it on my, uh, normally I play it off on my other monitor because of, uh, you know, I'm not using some shitty DOS box game. <laughs> I mean, the game's not shitty, it's just the format it's in. So my Streamlabs has a hard time capturing it, so I have to, like, do some trickery. Uh, regardless of said trickery... Um, it's really tiny on my second monitor. It's actually bigger looking at how my entire setup is. So that's kind of weird. So we're going in there. Point and click, baby. They got on to worry too much about graphics. Oh, shit. Okay. So we got a sick man here. Let's go ahead and um, so this is kind of like your little model thing here, right? So that's like to use an item, to take, to speak, to look, and that's like an attribute. So we're gonna use medical tricorder. Jim, this man has suffered severe physical injuries to his head and arm. The wounds have been adequately cared for. However, he has developed a new Garion infection. If not treated swiftly, the effects can be fatal. The infection can normally be treated with hypodytoxin, but there's none on the Enterprise. 
I may be of some assistance. The Lorexian berry grows near the mouth of the cave. If I could acquire it, I would be able to synthesize the hypoditoxin from the berry. Unfortunately, the demons prevent us from approaching the cave entrance. Perhaps you could retrieve it for me. Okay. Time is of the essence. Okay. It's going to be like that. So let's go retrieve this berry. We're going to have some questions here in a minute. Leons. Take our phaser. Stun phaser. Ah. Uh. You see a small explosion, and the Klingon's hand falls to the ground with a dull thud. I guess they don't make Klingons like they used to, sir. I guess they don't. We're fine. Did you register any disruptor fire? No, Captain. Why? Are there Klingons down there? No, just an idea, Kirkout. Fascinating. I begin to suspect that we have stumbled upon something that the colonists would never have uncovered. What is it, Spock? I wish to gather further data before making a definite conclusion, Captain. Okay. So, we're going to use tricorder? This is not a Klingon, Captain. Not a real one. It is an organic construct, an android-like robot. It looks like a Klingon, but the appearance is entirely superficial. There is something different about this particular construct. Come here, Captain. Look at the hand. It seems to have been separated from the body. There is a wiring circuit in the middle of the palm. Okay, so... We are going to take the hand. You take the Klingon's detached hand. And we're going to... And see these. Jim, these are the berries we need to synthesize the hypodetoxin. We must get these to Brother Stephen quickly. So let's go ahead and take ah take these. You have retrieved a sample of berries. Okay, let's get out of here. See you found the berries. Meet me in my lab. And that's where his lab is. Remember that. Welcome to my study. Feel free to look around. My medical and scientific equipment is surely not so sophisticated as you're accustomed to. But if there's anything you wish to use, please feel free. Also, I would be interested in anything you might have to show me. This place looks real comfortable. A place to combine work, contemplation. Man's got an eye for the beauty of useful things and for the use of beautiful things. I think we could get along fine. This study represents a man with a keen mind, Captain. To judge by what I see, there is little which does not interest him. The equipment is antiquated, but practical. 
I wonder if any of this stuff might be useful. Well, what happens next? Um. A multi-purpose workspace with fine, well-worn tools and equipment close at hand. I certainly see nothing there calling for a ship's doctor. I certainly see nothing there calling for a ship's doctor. You are interested in my little museum of curiosities? Looks like a pile of junk if you ask me. Yes, tell us about these things. I enjoy talking about these treasures. Okay. Shall I go into mineral specimens? Sure. True curiosities, nothing more. I think they're very pretty, don't you? Shall I go into mineral specimen? Meteorite. I believe this is evidence of the cataclysm which destroyed the moon of Pollux five eons past. I've constructed a theoretical model based on analysis of the planet's rings of what things might have been like. I think that the moon, like Earth's moon, would have made a total eclipse of the sun possible. I would have liked to have seen that. Conditions making a perfect total eclipse are rare in the universe. Our God creates great wonders. Shall I go into mineral specimen? Meteor fossil shells. One of the oldest forms I've seen. Shall I go into mineral specimen? Meteor fossil skull of a small alien animal. The skull of a modern Silati. The largest creature native to this planet. Yeah, about the size of a house cat from Earth. Okay. Salatis combine a rather insectoid pattern with four-legged reptilian form, including praying mantis-like forelimbs. Shall I go into well, well. mineral specimens, or would you rather twist of skull of a twist of metal? This chunk of rock is a greatly weathered example of a vanadium tungsten alloy, which doesn't occur naturally. It is my best evidence that the area was previously inhabited. Shall I go into mineral specimens? Or would you rather move on to something else? Very well. I can't imagine why, but if you have a third... Do I look like a pointy-eared... Okay, then let's get... I fail to see the logic in that action, Captain. You tinker with it, but do nothing significant. Ah, here we are. The machine synthesizes a quantity of hypodytoxin. We've got to get this to Brother Chubb as quickly as possible, Jim. Let's go to Brother Chubb. Most kind. It's fifty degrees here. Ah. I headed up the party that sought to rescue Brother Candry. Without warning, the demons appeared and attacked us as we approached the mine. Can you tell us what they looked like? Like the demons that have plagued devout folk since before our people left the earth. Huge, muscular demons with ruddy skin, truly the manifestation of evil, with bat wings, horns and talons, and a pointed tail. God preserve us all. One tore open my arm, and I surely would have perished, but for my companions who bore me back down the mountain. The demons didn't follow you? No. Well then, if they didn't follow you... I am Brother Grisnash. I went up the mountainside in solitary prayer, seeking to face my fears. Indeed, I found them. A bellowing krognik demon with sharp teeth and a long snout descended upon me in a rush of wind. Captain, a krognik demon has a decidedly wolfish appearance. Brother Grisnash, is this not the traditional shape of the evil one and his minions among Tellarites? It is. I believe this may be significant, Captain.
Brother Candre was, or is, my partner. I was on the communications link when the demons caused the rockfall and silenced him. He said he'd found a strange door with devilish writing. Truly, he came upon the gate of hell itself. Fascinating. I am Brother Stephen, an Ignatiate following the holy teachings with mind and soul alike. I believe the anomalous mineral readings in combination with evidence of ancient disturbances in this otherwise highly stable geologic location indicates previous habitation of the region eons ago. Why, Spock, you two should get along fine. He sounds just like you. I would be equally honored to discuss medicine with you, Doctor, as science with your Vulcan associate. Let me continue. I believe our god made humans, aliens, and demons all. If I could get a real demon into my study, I would bless our god for the opportunity, as I thank him for everything in this life. You tread close to unholy knowledge, Brother Stephen. I appreciate your prayers, Brother Roberts. Uh, Captain, if you and your people go up the mountain, I hope afterward you will visit me in my study, which is next door. I'm too old to make the trek myself, but I'm eager for knowledge. In return, I will offer you what insights our God grants these old eyes. Well then. The medical methods of these people seem primitive to me, Doctor. By our standards, yes. Here the acolytes prefer a simpler lifestyle. Unfortunately, this is one of the consequences. You know, Jim, they can take a captain out of a starship, a science officer out of his lab, but you can never retire a doctor. Not the good ones, that's for sure. My mom wanted me to become a doctor. Honest, but I hated my biology classes. So did I, but I became one anyway. That is not logical, Doctor. Neither were some of my professors. Okay. I detect various pieces of mining equipment, but nothing of note. Go down there. There we go. All right, let's go. several weak points in the cave-in's structure. Careful use of our phasers from the top down should be able to clear it. Assume firing positions. That's a phaser, not a flashlight, Jim. There is no apparent effect. We've got a body. This man is badly hurt and suffering from shock and exposure as well. It was a near thing. But he'll live. This man is bad. 
Oh, thank you, kind souls, for saving my life. Let me rest here for a little before returning to report this miracle to Prelate Angivin. Miracle? Oh, thank you, kind... Okay. I recommend as thorough an analysis of this area as possible. Jim, the next time you need medical help on a snowball... Bones. I'll probably end up coming along. Fascinating, Captain. This door is made of an unknown material. It is clearly built by an alien race we have no knowledge of. It appears to be a security lock designed to open the door when the correct handprint is registered. Oh shit, we got a hand too. The fit is perfect, but something seems to be shorting out. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. That's not what Nothing to report. I fail to see. Something is shorting out. Nothing to report. There is nothing at the moment for me to do. I recommend as thorough an analysis. Fascinating. I'm registering low intensity shielding, unlike anything we've encountered before. That kept this door and whatever is behind it hidden from the ship's sensors and earlier tricorder readings. Nothing to report, Captain. Nothing to report. Fascinating, Captain. Fascinating, Captain. Mm. I think Dr. McCoy... A pulsing red light is set in the structure above the door. <coughs> pulsing, it says, huh? Nothing happens. Captain, this course of action is ineffectual. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hmm. Something I'm not thinking of. Oh, my goodness. Shit, it's so dry. You fail to obtain. You fail to obtain. Let's see if we have to go back again. I I genuinely genuinely am not sure.
I headed up the part of the Can you tell us what they looked like? Like the demons that... The demons? No. Brother Candre was... I never dreamed that stop me. Fit is perfect. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. Nothing to report. Nothing to report, Captain. That's a phaser, not. There is no apparent... Don't you remember the Prime Directive, Captain? How does that pertain here? Because this is already existing technology. A large metallic door is set in... This looks like some of the hand security panels on the Enterprise. I fail to see the fascinating captain. This I fail to see the fascinating captain. I fail to see the fascinating. I'm registering fascinating. <laughs> fascinating captain. See, he said all this. I fail to see the fascinating captain. This door. Mm -hmm. Fascinating captain. Captain, this course of action. Jim, you should relax. Jim, you should relax a little. Supposed to do here. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Sir, it may be dangerous. Let me try it. Oh, don't do it, kid. I think I was shocked, sir. Sir, it may be dangerous. That was definitely a mild shock. Okay. Okay. So... Let's then... It appears to be a security lock designed to open the door when the correct handprint is registered. Sir, it may... Ouch! That hurt! Fuck up again. The fit is perfect. Hmm. 
He looks at you with a puzzled ex I have a puzzled expression for crying out loud. That's what I don't understand. Let's go back in. Should reset. Sir, it may be dangerous. Let me try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been over this. Oh, damn! Ahead, Jim. Oh! I didn't think... You have to restart this. No game saved. Yes, quit the game. Oh, man. I think I'm good there tonight anyway anyway um yeah maybe some other time i'll do this when i uh i haven't uh partaken of my nightlies so anyway thank you for all who tuned in this was a fun little experiment to see how this would go um y'all stay safe out there wear a mask and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow with maybe even more of this who knows we'll try again then but uh yeah